What's up guys? Welcome to the course Unit Operations in Chemical Engineering and essentially Process Engineering as well. So what is a unit operation? We're going to learn that here and I decided to have five main sections or let's say pillars. The first one will be Momentum Operations which stands for changing pressure, fluids, uh, applied fluid dynamics, statics and so on. An example of a unit operation here will be a pump, compressor, and so on. The second will be heat transfer operations, heating, cooling, evaporation, condensation, boiling, etc. Examples of unit operations will be a heat exchanger, a reboiler, and so on. Then we continue with the mass operation uh, units or theory will be distillation, will be absorption, Maybe adsorption, remember ad and adsorption is not the same. One is for solids, the other one is for liquid gas. Humidity, maybe even interaction between bubbles, dispersion, gas dispersion, liquid dispersion, and so on. Example will be the distillation column, the liquid liquid extractor, and so on. And then we see and learn about reactor engineering. Remember that if you want to convert A to B, you will require a reaction, which is typically carried on in a reactor. We see the different type of reactors, and well, unit operation will be the batch reactor, for example. Then, after we see those four main blocks, we're going to finish with the PFD exercise. We are going to see how to identify unit operations in process flow diagrams and in pipe and instrumentation diagrams as well. Okay, guys, so remember. If you have any doubt, please reach out in the via message, private message, discussion board, or email. Okay, so that's all on my behalf. Once again, welcome to the course, and hopefully you enjoyed as I did preparing it.